Greetings everyone. Welcome once again to Come the Naturals. Last week tuliongelea kuhusu baby acne. So this week tuko na topic moja kuhusu pre-teenage acne na teenagers acne. Unakumbuka pale high school when you are a teenage, most people used to have eruptions, ni inflammations kwa skin. So as adolescents in a kikin, skin yako pia na change. Formation to everything tends to change very fast. So some teenagers wanna realize Yes, adolescence imekuja. Before they even grasp adolescence is here, you start seeing pimples kwa uso. Suddenly unaona uso yako inaanza kuwa na black spots. This can really be diminishing for the child. Sometimes unapata mtu yeye anaanza ku lose confidence, mara ana enjoyiwa. Unajua in the stage pia watoto we interact a lot. Eh? So, kama kuna magigs watu wanaenda unaona mtoto anaanza ku withdraw mostly because confidence yake imerudi chini. So, as parents, first of all, mtu yeye ki hit teenage It's good to talk to your child. Encourage your child. Usimwache anze ku experiment cuz ndio time yenye mtu yeye akianza ku realize ako na issues na skin and attend to listen to a lot of voices. Ndio time mapata mtoto anatumia products that are bleach for life. Nyingine zinamwaribu the skin even further. So at this time it's good you talk to your child. Let your child understand that kuna changes zina happen na there are ways you can deal with this changes. So mostly when children get to teenage what really happens is kwa skin layers apart from the dermis na epidermis huko chini kuna kwanga na kitu inajiita sebaceous gland so sebaceous gland in attend ku secrete sebum sebum ni the natural oil ya ya skin so ukifika hapo kwa teenage unapata sebaceous gland yako iko really active cuz the skin ya watoto as we age renewal pain happen very fast so mostly unapata mtu mwenye ako na oily skin at this stage Izo sebums zinakuja zinaanza ku clog pores zinajaza tu uso then zikikuwa oxidized oxidation iki happen that is when unapata blackheads zinaanza ku appear kwa uso tu pole 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 so at this time usikimbilie kununulia mtoto a lot of things try to build slowly a skin regime for a teenage child so mostly I'll advise at this particular time it's good uanze kutumia oil free products ensure that products zako hazina mafuta mingi reason being tayari the teenage anato a lot of oils from the skin so like in our range we have the this one is clear and flawless oil free products you can see this cleanser iko na 0.5 salicylic acid so what salicylic acid does it allows exfoliation of the skin but it's really mild so it allows renewal of the skin so isn't of it to mostly zenye mtu yeye anafaa anafaa oil free cleansers zikuwe na salicylic acid then iko na chamomile extract green tea extract to just soothe the skin ndo asishinda ki pok pok also when it comes to moisturizers let the child stick to one moisturizer usiweke products mingi kwa uso because at this time ukimpaka a lot of oils a lot of ingredients some of them ziko na acha ni i'm trying to look for a simpler term but mostly tunajita non komodo genic ingredients that is ustumia oils zenye zinaweza clog the pores kuna zile oil thick thick kama castor oil those ones can really clog the pores so it's good ununue creams zenye ni oil free like this one we have a blemish control cream which is really oil free na still iko na salicylic acid iko na licorice extract licorice extract it's a mild extract ya kusaidia na the black spots so when your child amenza kuwa na black spots don't introduce heavy whitening ingredients because zita whiten and then they'll end up destroying the melanocytes so at end up tuko na shida as ana grow then kama ni masking as a teen i don't encourage scrubbing when it comes to a teen because uki scrub when you use the physical scrub during your process ya ku scrub una tend ku agitated sebaceous gland even more so it keeps producing a lot of oils rather than ianze ku regulate so the more oils ina produce the more anakuwa na pimples the more anakuwa na breakouts so it's good to use masks this mask has ahs that are really mild they are fruit acids so the fruit acids in them ina saidia ku peel off any dead skin without having to scrub a lot now sasa kama mtu hii anapaka makeup Let's say kuna teenagers when you are upenda ku experiment makeup during our time I kwa sana but nowadays due to accessibility of these makeups more makeups are affordable 
unapata mtu huyo anapaka makeup most of the time so if your child anapaka makeup or if you are the teenage mwenye unapaka makeup always remove your makeup before you go to sleep ensure you don't sleep with your makeup because the more na lala na makeup the more you keep clogging your pores so ensure unatoa makeup na oil cleanser this is an oil cleanser it's a by face actually kuna the oil part na kuna the water part reason uki spray hii kwa cotton wool the oil part it suck oil dirt and the water part it are quite drawn towards the water bacteria zinyo ambazo zinaweza tolewa tuna maji hizo zitatolewa za mafuta zitatolewa so always ensure before you sleep do double cleansing that is remove your makeup na oil cleanser then go ahead and use the other cleanser that we talked about the oil free cleanser and then if you have to apply lipstick also remove your lipstick na oil cleanser then after removing the lipstick usilale tu hivyo tena kama iko dry cuz lips tends to zinaanza ku crack cuz of overusing of lipstick and this meds a lot of med products so ensure that after umetoa lipstick yako na the oil cleanser always apply your lip balm before you sleep apply two lip balm yako a thin layer then go and sleep this will make your lips supple equal to soft even as you keep using your products so now that to melan kuswizi product about the teenagers follow me to the lab so that we can show you how we formulate these products and also guys subscribe to our channel so that you can get more topics like this also turn on the notification button so that you are notified whenever we release a new videos alafu tukutane next week we really have a, an amazing topic that we are going to talk about something that affects all of us so just stick to the channel and you learn more as time goes on guys welcome to our temporary laboratory in the lab yetu ya leo So under normal circumstances CC work from Kirdi and currently Camry Naturals is constructing its own laboratories so soon enough I'll open doors for you where we shall be formulating together at our laboratories so but for today I want to give you a snapshot of how we formulate our products first of all in formulation nitawaregesha chemistry kidogo ya shule tuvute kidogo si sana in our chemistry classes tulikuangana formulations so kwa hiyo formulation yetu ya leo you have to have your percentages ready you have to have your ingredients ready this one is ready for double heating so you will put it aside then you measure your oils So we are going to heat these two faces our water face and our oil face then we shall mix after combining that's when we shall put in our actives as you can see our ingredients are boiling so you can't boil direct you have to do double boiling hii tu ni setup ya kianza to practice in your home so once you're boiling your this you wait until they get to 70 degrees then that's when we shall mix the two ingredients so once your ingredients are mefika 70 degrees you just come cuz This emulsion is an oil to water emulsion so you have to place your oil inside your water not the other way around as you can see with the glass rod so say me fika place here hand blender so you simply switch to either a hand blender or a homogenizer in the laboratory you have to use homogenizers but here for the setup you can still use your hand blender even for training feel free to use your hand blender so like this as you can start mixing you can see the cream is starting to form huh? Yapa. So if you can see clearly, tushaanza kupata the cream effect. So once your cream has started to form, you can not stop blending. Then you start adding your additives. First of all, you wait until the temperature in sugar. Cuz some of these additives, they are heat sensitive. Like I said, hata kupaka essential oil direct, the way I said it's very heat sensitive. It can cause hyperpigmentation the same way in formulation. You have to wait until you may cool to normal room temperatures that is 40 degrees and above that's when you add your additives like that then you have to add your extracts even the additives ensure you weigh all of them this is our green tea extract which is normally in our labels so you add your extract to the percentage that is required 
once you have added your extract you now go ahead to mix your formulation after which you will test your ph then you will end up adding your preservative after checking your ph you can go ahead and measure your preservatives and add it to your formulation after this you have two options you can leave it 24 hours in this beaker for you to get your final consistency or because sometimes after 24 hours it could have hardened a bit and it can become hard for you to pour in your jar you can immediately go ahead and pour in your any sort of ml for ours it's, we have the 50 ml and the 100 ml in our products so once you've finished your formulation you simply go ahead and just pour like this in your jar Because these containers are already pre-measured, so you don't have to keep putting it on the weighing scale every time. Just ensure that your container is filled. Like that. When you get your products, just seal the products. In order for you to ensure that you have the 50 ml required, you can measure after that. As you can see, it's 64. That is including the jar. So that is how we make our blemish control cream. So this is our blemish control cream. That is our final product from this formulation. The blemish control cream can be used for teenagers. It's safe to be used for teenagers who have prone acne, for adults who have acne, and also when you have open pores. So for all those three conditions, you can safely use the blemish control cream to get yourself a flawless skin. Kindly let's interact with this information. Let's talk in our comments on about our baby skin condition, how we take care of the teenagers, and let's keep encouraging our teen. We're encouraged to Hata kama pimples zake hazitoki sa hiyo. Usimchongoe na usi... Don't keep mentioning about the skin. Because the skin is kindly a really sensitive topic. Mtu anatend kuluzata moral na confidence just by describing how their skin looks. So let's keep encouraging each other. Let's build each other up and keep commenting about this topic. Thank you for listening to this topic. And guys, till next time, hasta la vista guys.